Get that in writing And here's the woman that you need to know There's someone you should know So what do you want to do? I just want to get in the business I, There's someone you should know So do you know who Harry Fox is? Tell me the dude from church with the big There's girl. someone you should know But where do I need to go? The Professor Butler Show The workshop is being sponsored by my own company Called Professor Butler And that's the uh, postcard that I just passed out to you on the front, that's my company logo, which I am currently branding. And on the back is the information about the services that I provide, which uh, is a six-part um, series on copyright called Conquering the Copyright Conundrum that I do at music industry uh, workshops, conferences, and colleges and universities across the country. Matter of fact, I just got back from the International Soul Music Summit in Atlanta. So I, I want to make sure that uh, you recognize that we're all in the same business together. So whenever you have the opportunity to plug yourself and your business and your company, that's exactly what you should be doing. So I want to welcome you to registration brought to you by Professor Butler. So you can clap now. Hi, my name is Nile Vett Milligan from Dallas, Texas, and I was just in one of Dr. Butler's uh, seminars. She was exciting. It was absolutely informative. I highly recommend that you attend one of her seminars. You will not regret it. How Thank do you get these rights? How do you get the copyright? How do you get this copyright protection? Anybody know? Without a form of delivery from this? Yeah. Can you? Oh. Can you mail it to yourself? Can you oh, my God. Oh. I'll tell you how you do it. I'll tell you how you do it. You create an original fixed expression. That's what you did. That's how you did it. You create an original fixed expression. Copyright protection is automatic. I don't know how many times I have to say this. It's automatic. Whoever they are, they're wrong. Amen. Oh, no. We'll get to that in a minute. Will you mail them to something? We'll get, oh, no. We'll get to that in a minute. That's not oh, we'll get to that in a minute. Okay. It's automatic. The rights I just described to you, the bundle of exclusive rights, once you create an original fixed expression, the moment that expression is fixed, you got that bundle of rights. They are yours. You don't have to do anything else. Hi, I'm Shay. I'm from Boston. And I just want to say this workshop is fabulous. This is a very complex, complex topic. And Professor Butler has a way of making it so understandable so that you're leaving here really understanding what you need to do, how you need to do it, so you can take care of business. And isn't that what this is all about? Sound recordings do not have the right to publicly perform. I repeat that. Sound recordings do not have the right to public performance in the United States. In other parts of the world, they do. In the United States, they don't. And when I say sound recordings, I'm referring to the sound recording that you guys are privy to in this generation, which is the CD, the MP3. When I grew up, you know, OK, yeah, all right, it was the eight track, but whatever, the CD. Now, here's an example. Um, I always use this example, but it, 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 because everybody knows this song, this, this song. The song, I Will Always Love You. I would sing it, but I really don't want to hurt your ears. Anybody know who wrote that song? Anybody know who sang that song? From the Bodyguard soundtrack? Okay, I, I, I got to get a new example. Boy, this group is too young. <laughs> this is a song, I will always love you. Remember that? Okay. Yes, I told you. What's up, world? My name is Andrea Ruiz, and um, I was just a part of this great seminar with uh, Dr. Butler here. She's awesome. Everything that she spoke about was informative. Everything for right now, if you want to be an artist, a writer, um, anything dealing with entertainment, anything, she has the, the questions or the answers to your questions, shall I say. So check her out online. Uh, check her out on her website. I guarantee you will enjoy her. I am so serious about property rights. My family, like for example, whenever I go to LA, LA's where I'm from, right? We have like a bootleg DVD rule in the house. They don't watch bootlegs when
when I'm there. <laughs> they don't want, they're serious. When I'm there and we're having movie night in the house, no bootleg movie night when I'm there out of respect for what I do for a living because I've been personally affected by bootleg DVDs. Matter of fact, it took me two hours to convince my big mama. Big mama's my grandmother. She's 88 years old, right? It took me two hours to convince her that number one, just because that copy of Passion of the Christ that she bought at the nail salon <laughs> had plastic on it, was shrink wrapped, does not mean that it was an original copy. And I also had the only thing that really made me convince her that it was not a bootleg was that I had to tell her, look, big mama, people do not get up and get popcorn in the middle of the crucifixion. 